What's up, everybody? In the house for a little Packers rebuild action. How we doing? Chat. Welcome back. Julian coming in with the prime subs. Thank you, Julian. So let's do a little recap before we hop in. We got off to an epic start with this Packers team, didn't we, Teddy? And, ooh, real Shane Connell as well. Thank you. So it's Jordan Love season here in Green Bay after Aaron Rodgers has forced his way out, bringing a couple veterans with him. Uh, Devontae Adams heading to Denver and David Bakhtiari also asking for a trade with his fellow veterans leaving here in Green Bay. But Jordan Love carrying the load off to a 4-0 start. Did throw three picks in our last match, but he's been awesome. The rushing game has been really fun to see. This really trio, Jordan Love doing well, A.J. Dillon, Aaron Jones had a big snow game. Marquez Valdez-Scantling has gotten a breakout already even without Aaron Rodgers. Jerry Judy, of course, coming in in that Rodgers trade. So the offense really has not missed too much without Aaron Rodgers, which was not expected in our first year. But the big story is how much better this defense has been with Zedaria Smith, Rashawn Gary, Kenny Clark, these guys balling out. Patrick Sertain coming over in the Rodgers trade from Denver, contributing. Uh, and this defense has been... One of the better defenses in the league. Let's let's see where are we in like points allowed. Towards the top in points allowed, we are way at the top in sacks, fumble recoveries, picks. So the defense stepping up, and we're four zero. Most most importantly, so I have gone ahead and made a custom draft class, guys. This one is actually uploaded. I got to apologize. I didn't realize my custom. Fictional draft classes, I hadn't uploaded any of them, so they are all up now. You'll see a couple of our Maryland legends. So Robert Link, the number one quarterback in this class. Um, we are going to scout tackles first here. Uh, so this is a custom class. I you know, only edited about five or six players and then moved some of the positions around so the edge players lined up correctly. So I have no idea. I really have no idea other than like the three Maryland players that I, I created for fun. Um, but just tweaked it a little bit because we all know how EA's classes can be. Thanks, it's funny, we got the thanks EA on here, but we're, we're starting to hate EA a lot less after all the new Madden franchise news. Uh, yeah, David DeCastro got cut today, chat. Big uh, big loss for the Steelers. They downgrade, bringing in Trey Turner. I'm sure DeCastro gets picked up somewhere. There's There are questions about if he's healthy, so that'll be something to monitor, I suppose. But he'll, he'll be a nice pickup for somebody. Mercedes Lewis asking us what we want to do in the bye week. Going to go with the rest. Najee, two yards per carry season. Yeah, basically. Like, geez. We got Vic in the class chat. Um, is there a reason I turned training back on? Not that I can think of. Because we want that on automatic. Was there a player I was trying to... Maybe you guys in the chat will remember. If there was a player I was going to change up the focus player to. Um, I can't think off the top of my head if we were going to do that for someone else. But I'm just going to put that back on auto. And sim through the bye week. So we have, yeah, maybe it was John Runyon. 
Let's do that. Let's um, focus on John Runyon in the future. Because he had a inner inner game breakout that we created for ourselves. The Bucks are 2-3. and three. We have a chance to kind of bury him a little bit. So we get... Um, I'm just debating what, what position I want to scout. We got Brandon. I don't know if Brandon's in the house yet, but coming over from that Maryland series, we got Brandon at middle linebacker in this class. But we... Uh, that reminds me that it is time to switch back over to different music. But our playage that is remaining, we get two games of all offense or all defense and four games of play the moments that can be subbed out by any breakouts that we get. So we are going to finish the season here in the stream tonight, I believe. And I'm going to play all offense here against Tampa Bay. Hopefully keep this thing rolling. Couple upgrades. What is my favorite comp keys song? Um, probably either Sauce Man or Insecure, but there's some good ones. Okay, two release for MVS. I'm gonna stick with Slot. Jordan Love gets way too much hate in real life. I agree. Totally agree. Patrick Sertan with the speed boost. Woo! Which Maryland players are in this draft class? So I did um, Robert Link, the quarterback. We got Vic at guard. We got Brandon at middle linebacker. And then uh, I think I made one of the receivers. Maybe. Maybe not. There's actually another class that I created for, oh, uh, John LaDuca at Free Safety. There's actually another class that I created for the TFGO Light League that has some Maryland players in it as well, like JB Beard and uh, Smith, the receiver. All right, we are going to neutralize Tom Brady, even though we're not playing offense this, or defense this week. Do you think guys like Ryan Moody are being too hard on EA, or do I think the skepti skepticism is too fair? I haven't really seen what Moody's been saying, but there's really not any good reason to rip EA right now, in my opinion. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, though. We are also going to neutralize Levante David. I feel like... EA did enough to uh, just warrant like praise. Like we we throw a fit asking for stuff, rightfully so, and then they basically give us everything we possibly could have asked for in that time period. Most notably, just actually focusing on the mode and tweeting about the mode from their main account and. Um, I just, I don't, I don't personally see the need to shred EA right now. Ooh, a, a rainy game. Aaron Jones went off the last time we played in the rain, but that was against Detroit, not the Bucks run defense. But the defense gets us a stop. Jeez, Vita Vea. Just like I was saying, this run defense is a lot different. I think that's fair, Duval. If you want to wait to make sure they commit for more than one year before you praise them, I think that's totally fair. There you go, Sternberger. I have a lot of channel points on me right now. Jeez, that's a lot of pressure. 
I played really well in our last stream. Hopefully I can keep that energy. FBI on T. Oh, hit while we threw. At least the Steelers have Kevin Dotson. It's not all too bad. <laughs> oh, poor Steelers fans. Just run it, love. We get a block? Great job. According to chat, I have a 97% chance at winning. Dang, you guys got a lot of confidence. I'm surprised given the history of the, the Bucks against us on these rebuild streams. Dang, nothing I could have done there. I just got a text from TFGF lurking in the Twitch chat. The next time your wife gets angry, drape a towel over her shoulders like a cape and say, Now you're super angry. Maybe she'll laugh. Maybe you'll die. <laughs> That's good. What's this game spread? I'd say Packers minus, minus six. Jeez, look at Vita Vea covering Aaron Jones. Beautiful play against the cover three. Way to wait for it, love. Jerry Judy, let's go. Bucks go score, and now we're back on offense. Do I think they gave Brady 99 overall in 22? Um, yeah, probably. Nothing will be a surprise at this point. I think he's still a higher overall than Rodgers, which is just hilarious. Oh. You literally cannot justify that. I'm sorry. Do I think Judy will ever be good enough to be a number one wide receiver? Yeah, 100%. It's just he needs a freaking quarterback, man. All right, we got Judy on Jason Pierre-Paul. What can we do out of the slot here that can... I'm not sure. Like, maybe sit him down on a hitch? It worked. Jeez.
I would say Christian Barmer compares to other top IDLs in recent classes. I think he's up there with Kinlaw. Very similar prospect to Kinlaw, in my opinion. I was just trying to get out of that pocket. Can I see if there are people in the hot tub from my window? No, I can't see the hot tub from my window, unfortunately. But a hot tub sounds nice. Okay, we are going to block Aaron Jones. You know what? I'm actually going to block Tanyan, too. Bucks pass rush is just too much. Do you think those of us fortunate enough to have the next-gen cons consoles are better off waiting on this Madden to know how many new features are limited in next gen you mean the people you mean if you don't have you mean if you don't have next gen should you wait I could see a world where if you don't have it it's worth waiting but I feel like they're becoming more available these days I feel like I've seen more people get them lately Defensive battle. I really do think this is going to be a Madden worth buying. I'm excited to make my review for it when it comes out. Oh. Jamel Dean, what a tackle. Good grief. John Runyon's getting obliterated over there. We got to get him some help. Is PC getting next gen? I've heard the PC community is pretty frustrated that they're not uh, getting the love. But I don't know for sure. They got to do something about edge terminology. I agree. I agree. I think it should be higher on their priority list. We will get it eventually, but it's not going to be in Madden 22 at any point. Based on everything I've heard. Oh, geez. I'm lucky that I didn't get picked off. Come on, Jordan Love. Put it on him. Oh, love. I don't know if it's the rain or what, but. Uh-oh, did I miss it? Oh, whew, that was close. Good job, though, defense. Hell yeah. All right, Dylan, protect for us. Who's 88? Oh, Funchess. Oh God, love. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna own that one. I'm not gonna own that interception. I was trying to throw that as a corner route, not whatever the heck Jordan Love threw it as. I don't know if that's how they throw that route in this game or what, but let me show you what I saw. I saw. Timing route, 
wide open right around here which was I wanted that ball right around here on a corner route and Jordan Love left it upfield so I'm not gonna apologize about that one that's a big thanks, old thanks EA. EA from me can't complain about how our defense is playing though That's where I missed that feature I was talking about in the last stream where you could hold left trigger and actually like select where you wanted to throw the football. Oh! If we didn't stumble there, that was that was house. Oh, man. Uh, perfect control passing. Yeah, I think that's what it was called. Yeah, they took it out of the game. Come on, Jordan Love. You're killing me. That was a great route by Jerry Judy. Not a great late uh, game from Jordan Love. I'll tell you that much. Put in Bortles. No way. AJ Dillon goes down. Hopefully he's all right. Get to see a little KJ Hill maybe. There you go, Funches. Way to do something. Come on, love. You're killing me, dude. He's missed so many passes. Nice check down with the pressure getting in there. Changes to a hot read for Tanyan. There you go. There you go. Good job. Get rid of her. Probably could have gotten rid of that ball, but that's all right. The difference between Series S and Series X is actually pretty significant. The X just runs faster. It's just more. It's just a better machine. The S is, I feel like, the bare minimum that they could have created to allow you to still get next gen, but it's just not as powerful. I don't know what that angle route was there by Jones, but that was sloppy. Took forever to get out on that. Also, the coverage by Levante David up the seam was elite. Just as you expect from Levante. Come on. Oh, get in. Kicking in the rain is so rough. And 
now we're trailing. Come on, offense. It's a good game right here in this NFC Championship rematch. Bucks playing like their season's on the line, which it kind of is. They're, what are they, two and four? Two and three? Run it again. Speed out here, Judy. Thank you. Oh, man. Jason Pierre Paul dunking on the run. Do I think Blake Prohl will get cut? Uh, personally, no. I think he's better than the sixth worst receiver on their roster, but I'm also absurdly high on him. Oh my gosh, love. So many missed passes. Okay, we got Jerry Judy. Potential matchup there, but the blitz is coming, so we got to make a quick decision. They had it all covered up. Man, this Bucks defense is living up to their reputation right now. And Jordan Love is killing us with these missed passes. It's okay, defense. Do your thing. There you go, Kevin King. Do I think Pro will be the long-term replacement to Adam Thielen? I mean, that's lofty expectations, my man, but I, th I think he can be. I think he's got really nice potential. There you go. Nice play, love. I don't think I've I've ran one play action boot this entire game. Let's. Let's get back to our Shanahan roots here. Oh, I was past the line of scrimmage. Ah. Bummer. Teddy. Ah. There you go. Nice little backside RPO. Worst offseason Raiders or Steelers? I mean, it's got to be the Raiders, right? But, uh, sorry, 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 the Steelers. But based on what they had to work with, you could say Raiders. Steelers didn't have a lot of flexibility, at least. No. Tell me he was down. Oh, why did I not? That was so dumb of me. I'm sorry, chat. I should have hopped out of there and challenged it. But it, at least we got the ball back. Jeez. 
Jeez, barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Can hardly see what I'm supposed to do here. I'm going to change Judy to a slant because we know that out route doesn't work. Catch the ball. Is this going to be holding in the back of the end zone? Oh my god. That's brutal, bro. Come on. <laughs> That's game. That was literally ball game. And what a great pass rush by Tom Brady. Jesus Christ. Go for the ball, Judy. Well, the Tampa Bay Bucks played like their season was on the line. Very reminiscent of this game in real life. Defense balled out. We pick up our first loss of the season, and people lose a lot of channel points. That holding call by Runyon and the, the fumble, the fumble that wasn't that kind of glitched out in a way because of the play of the moments. Bad beat for Green Bay. We pick up a first loss, but... Can't win them all. Shake it off. Move on to next week. We got the Texans next week. We do need to start simming some of these games. A reminder, guys, we have as far as our playage. Oh, my God. The Texans are 5-1. and one. Jesus. It's that Deshaun Watson energy right there. We have four games of all play the moments and one more game of either offense or defense, whatever, uh, whatever we decide to play. I think I might scout some DTs maybe. This roster is actually in pretty good shape. But I think I will simulate this one. Let's change. Um, I think I'll change Judy off because Judy should get some good XP either way. But we want to focus on John Runyon a little more. First time watcher from Big Tony. What's up, Big Tony? Jamie Newman or Sam Ellinger. Uh, I had a higher grade on, on Jamie Newman. <laughs> oh, I need a uh, new controller. I mean, Ellinger is just like a wildcat QB, so he's got a better chance to like make a roster as that, whereas Newman's at least like an actual quarterback. Lots of upgrades this week. Go hybrid for Brady Breeze. You once hung out with Royce Newman at a bar and you didn't know who he was. I feel like that's the story for a lot of college offensive linemen. Speaking of Royce Newman. What do I think of the Steelers old line without DeCastro? Well, without spoiling the deep dive, it's bad. <laughs> it's very bad. You'll have to stay tuned for that ranking for the when their deep dive comes up. Oh my goodness. A speed boost for Jair. All right, we are going to sim this week, chat. Come on, take home a dub against Houston. 
Yeah, defense, baby. This defense is insane. 24 to 8. Love played awesome. Jerry Judy gets two touchdowns this week. Brady Breeze gets his second pick of the season. How much do you have to pay me on Patreon to get the Jags higher in the power rankings? I can't be bought over. Although your money will get you access to the DMs where you can tell me how mad you are. And a fresh new Josh Allen film room. Shameless self-promotion. Jordan Love, hashtag gains. In this world, can act. Oh my God, dude. He's gained three throw power already in his first year. When's the next film room? Uh, it'll be like two or three weeks. It'll be like a, every two or three week deal. Hard to say right now exactly when. Even Russell Okun getting better. Let's scout. Yeah, I feel like that defensive end spot is kind of our weakness. So I'm going to look at like any 3 4 end types and just defensive tackles. Let's look at our negotiations as well. We got JK Scott up. Probably not in a position to really pay a punter, to be honest. Um, I think Tanyan would maybe make sense to resign. Eh, we use so many tight ends. Definitely not bringing Kevin King's overrated ass back. Um, MVS, I would say, is valuable to us. He's been really nice. Gets that star breakout. A three-year, $20.6 million contract I actually think is somewhat realistic there. And we actually don't have anybody else, but we have other guys coming up that we need to worry about. I think MVS has earned this. He's been really nice. So let's give him that. Oh, come on. We'll revisit that. Since we won last week against the Texans, I'm going to simulate again against the Vikes. We're at home. And we... Oh my gosh, this defense, dude. Unbelievable. It's so weird seeing a defensive-minded Packers team. MVS, another good week. He says, pay me, fam. And I'm trying to, but you're being stubborn, MVS. I'm going to turn weekly training on auto. So that was big to pick up a couple uh, wins with the simulations. Can't say I expected both of those wins. Keep in mind we have a bunch of first round picks. Um, we could try to get another dope corner. Because we have two guys, but we are losing King and Sullivan. So we do technically need a third corner in here which would be just a crazy combo. Judy's frustrated. I'm not even going to let him into the office. Not going to deal with it. We got a short week this week. We are going to emphasize rest against the Niners. Dealing with X-Factor Nick Bosa this week. Let's try to neutralize him. Let's look at our schedule and kind of game plan 
what we want to do. So we get one game. I think it'd be fun to play a full game of defense because how good our defense has been this year. And I would say the Colts is a good team to do that against. Let's make sure they have a good record, though. Jeez, good year for New York. Denver 6-1 and one with Rodgers, no surprise. Um, Panthers are 4-4, four and four, Bears are 4-4, four and four. the Colts are not good. Jeez, Colts are 1-6. They'd be benching Carson Wentz so that they don't have to give up their first round pick in that situation, if they're that bad. Um... So maybe we should play f the Bears. Who's who's starting a quarterback for the Bears? Is it Fields? Because Fields lit us up in our last rebuild. It is Fields. So let's play that defensive game against the Bears. Although Jags would also be fun. What's their record? Yeah, Jags are bad. We will play against the Jags. We'll do play the moments against the Jags. I'm going to do play the moments this week against the Niners. Try to bury them, get them out of here. We're going to have a top pick from the Steelers. That's awesome. It's I was not expecting this team to be so good this year, but it's it's that defense. And you can see we're only a 77 overall. I wouldn't think we'd be so good. We gotta, yeah, we gotta revisit MVS too and try to get that contract extension done. Yeah, Joe Barry is putting in work. That's like the higher of the the year right there. Check to see if Eric Stokes is a superstar yet, dude. What if we played the Broncos in the Super Bowl? How how nuts would that be? Not totally out of the question either. Kenny. Oh, no. Classic. George Kittle. Get him. There you go. Good job, Kamal Martin. Get him. Big play right here for our... I wonder if we are the number one defense in the NFL. We're going zero blitz down here by the goal line. Jimmy Garoppolo starting all year, by the way. Good hold, good hold. Third and six. I am just going to run the ball here. Follow Elton Jenkins in there. And that is why right there. Oh, MVS goes down. Open middle of the field. Let's see Alan Lazard. Good read, good read. Fourth down. Let me go for it. Let's get a good play action boot. Oh, the blitz is on. Let's just Let's just stun him. And Judy, you're going to go drag.
Nice adjustment. I thought they were blitzing harder than that. No! Guys, I finally beat Mass Effect 1 Remastered. On to Mass Effect 2. If you have not played Mass Effect, I'm telling you, you're missing out. If you need a good good single player story game to play over the summer, get the get the remaster. It's it's in it, It's back when companies made like good, really good video games. You're doing yourself honestly believe you're doing yourself a disservice if you have not played Mass Effect. And you like single player games. Get in there, Jones. There you go. Ooh, it's your first time playing three? Enjoy. Yeah, I also beat it on Insanity, Jazzer. Look at Juice Check. How do you use your Prime sub? Maybe someone in the chat can help you, because I actually don't know. It's got to be an option somewhere. Good hit, Barnes. How am I going to do Juice Check in the deep dive? I will probably mention him with the uh, with the tight ends. Just because that's the only place really to mention him. Or with the offensive line, I'll create a little... Little side tab for him. There's only a few fullbacks worth mentioning. I think for the Ravens, I'll probably do it. Who else? I mean, there's there's really only a couple fullbacks worth noting. Dang. Second time Jimmy's just throwing it away on third down. Same thing with, like, Jamal Adams for the Seahawks pass rush. It's just like an outlier. Jeez. We're back in here. Come on, offense. Be, be better. Top five fullbacks? I can't even name it. I mean, I can name five fullbacks, but it would not be a rankings list. Use check, Kari Blassing game, Patrick Ricard are really the only three that I would say make a difference to their team. Oh, and uh, John Hamm. Can't sleep on John Hamm for the Vikes. So I guess there's four for you. Get them. Yes, great defense. God, we are just dominating down here in the red zone. Did I say John Hamm? Oops. Janovich. I actually, is he still on the Browns? I feel like Janovich has fallen off. Yeah, Alec Ingold's good. Do I think... Ooh, nice catch. Josiah DeGuara, speak of the devil. Nice. And we got the ball back. Do I think Ima Torba Bay makes the J uh, Jags roster? I think it's either going to be him or Jalen Camp. I think, you know, I'd be somewhat surprised if they both made it, but... Oh, come on. I I knew I, I should have gone out of bounds there, but... Rashawn Gary gets an interception. God, dude, this defense. Third and seven. I'm going to call a timeout. What a bad formation. There we go. 
K1 short with the sack. Great coverage, guys. Double teamed Kittle, even though he came open there. Garoppolo just didn't throw it. Really? No key moments this entire game. Interesting. Okay, third and two. Hopefully D4 doesn't go too wide here. Oh, no. Ooh, thank God they didn't get picked. We can go for it. Ooh, Amari, he could go. He doesn't go, but he wins on the out route. <laughs> you put a spread on this bet? What was the spread for this game? Go, Jones. Go, Jones. Woo! Well, this should be over. Yep. GG's. GG's. Another win. Hard fought game, a little back and forth. We got another new viewer. Bimaj. What's up? Happy to have you. Appreciate the compliment. Glad you enjoy the, the YouTube. Decent game from Love. Aaron Jones, really nice. Judy. Rashawn Gary could be a defensive player of the week. Where's his breakout been this year? He's been awesome. You're wondering if we could see the rest of the NFC East teams done in the deep dive over the next week. So that would need Cowboys and Giants and football team in the next three, basically. Well, you know I can't answer that, but it's an interesting prediction. Yeah, we'll just we'll keep going with these. Appreciate you, Bimash. We're going to play again next week against the Jags. Breakout player, Rashawn Gary, right on cue. So we are going to substitute that for our scenario, which means we get to play uh, defense with Rashawn Gary until he gets the breakout is how this works. Randall Cobb's been cleared. Just start MVS, but make sure that doesn't screw up our depth chart as well. It did not. I mean, Rashawn Gary's got to be in the defensive player of the year. He's ninth. Fields is offensive rookie right now and best quarterback. Well, we gotta stop him from getting that in a couple weeks. Some more upgrades. McDuffie. He went up two last time and then none this time. That's a good upgrade though. And I'm just going to auto the rest of these guys. I don't really care about those guys. No offense if you're a big Vernon Scott truther. Jags are 2-6 and six following true with my deep dive prediction, it seems. Let's keep scouting the corners. Let's see if we can find a sweet gem. 
Doesn't look like a very good corner class. MVS, I want you to take my contract, but I also don't want you to charge me too much here. Good. Got him back. I wanted to turn some oh I was gonna do my coaching see if I can get the weekly at XP perk only a few more rebuilds left where we have the the same old coaching XP guys we've been picking the same perks since like Madden 13 it's gonna be a breath of fresh air to actually have to develop our coach in a unique way Yeah, who would have thought? MVS with the second contract. Work ethic pays off when paired with athleticism. Well, they have Mitchell Schwartz. Are we going to be going against Mitchell Schwartz here? That'll be a good matchup. I don't know if they're playing him at left or right, though. It is a superstar breakout, so... Yeah, it is Schwartz at left tackle. Good coverage by Gary. Let's see if we can beat him with power. Oh, I thought we got in there. Jairi Alexander does his thing though. I wonder I think we can also I should actually start looking at the goals for these things. But I think we can get it if we totally dominate the passing game, too. So that's a good start. Laquan Treadwell or Colin Johnson? Uh, I'd take Colin Johnson easily. Good job, offense. We also might want to get our matched up on the other side so we don't have to go against Schwartz as much. But we'll keep our we'll keep us over here for now. Oh, we get in there. Oh, that's a good pressure. Good job, Gary. Here we actually get like an inside matchup on a guard, so that'll be better. Well, Norwell's no joke, but Jair Alexander, dude. Have a day, young man. Great start. PFF is getting you too excited humping up Chenault and Allen. Those are two hype-worthy players, I'm not going to lie. All right, we got Jair on the zone. Man, we're getting kind of bodied by Mitchell Schwartz. Can you imagine if they signed Mitchell Schwartz? It'd be such a good signing for them. Fitzgerald or Alshon Jeffrey? Like now? Uh, Fitzgerald can still play. He's just very one-dimensional. I'd rather have him. Oh no, he's gone. Jeez. Hopefully that doesn't count against our breakout. I think it's passing yards. Maybe not, though.
14 passing yards. Can't complain about that. Jeez. Okay, Travis Etienne. We get it. Dang. We got just ragdolled down on that one. Linebacker is total yards. Okay. Dang. That hurts. They're coming at us. Come on, get up a block, Gary. Good D, Sullivan. Come on, Gary. Oh. Gary's getting bodied. There's one. There's one. Let's go. Flex on him. Show off those muscles. Thanks for blocking me with a tight end. Lawrence tried to juke. Tried to mix in a spin move there. Did we get held there? I think we did. We're going to decline that. Good job, D. Let's get a nice long drive. From our offense here. Not quite what we wanted. Man, Chenault looks slow there. I feel like it glitched into not sprinting on that. Ooh, I don't know if we'll get full credit for that, but we dominated it. Am I 6'4"? I am uh, I'm just under 6'3". Are my official measurements. 6'2 and like 3 quarters. Come on, get in there. Oh, another pressure. A QB hit. I'm gonna try like a stunt. Good defense, guys. 50 something passing yards. If it wasn't for that big Travis Etienne run. What are the odds Heineke starts before Fitzpatrick? Uh, 
What's the most overrated stat? Um... Probably, like, passing yards. Might be my answer there. Like, sacks are... Sacks are overrated in a way, but they're not, like, useless. Not that passing yardage are is either. Sacks might be over the most overrated just because people don't understand that pressures are a legit thing that we track now. Completion percentage is a great answer. People think completion percentage equals accuracy. That's a gr I think completion percentage is my answer. I like that. Tackles is another good one. Yep, tackles and completion percentage. Final answer. We actually don't even have Gary on the field for this one. Oh, get in there. Another pressure from Gary. God, Mitchell Schwartz. That's right, Teddy is a vibe. He's just chilling. Isn't that right, Teddy? Just chilling. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Going for the edge on this one. Oh, come on, get up. Good defense. Ooh, we get a field goal before half. I like it. I like it. Good coverage, Gary. Running with ETN out of the backfield. Preston Smith was playing off ball. Yeah, it... It was my fault. He's. It was this 4-4 formation, or it was actually this formation, and I made an adjustment that brought him um, off the line. It was my fault, not EA's fault. Kenny. Get another pass rush win. I feel like our PFF grade in this game would be quite high. We're winning a lot. All right, 
Let's slide inside, guys. Most overrated QB in 2010s. Tom Brady. Excellent answer. Ooh, Gary. That's a good play. We need to get this stat because I don't think we're going to get the correct yardage limitations that we need. I got to stop calling this formation too because Gary's not in there. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, obviously. Just not a talented guy. Can never win the big game. Really bad, like, stats. Never wins any awards. Clearly fell off with Mike McCarthy. Yeah, another good criticism. Was only good when Mike McCarthy was his coach. Yes! What a play by Rashawn Gary on third down nonetheless. Woo! That should do it. Oh, they went for it. Also, I'm uh, on the wrong. I don't think I missed anything, but... Good answer by the offense. Oh, jeez. Lucky to not get roughing the passer on that. Went after his knees, too. Maybe when Lawrence isn't a rookie, he'll get that call. Question is, can we get a win against Mitchell Schwartz today? Jeez. Can Chase Claypool be a number one receiver? Yeah, I don't see any reason why not. He's got a lot of, long way to go, but he's got that upside. Will there eventually be a position that disappears like the fullback? I don't think so. Jesus. Thanks, Demetrius. Glad you're enjoying the deep dives. Thanks for stopping by. I mean, the fullback would be the only position that would, would disappear. Oh, geez. The read option. The fullback would be the only position that like could disappear, but there's always going to be a room for certain offenses to use a fullback, I think. Good job by Gary. What's up, Chaser? How we doing tonight? Tackle, boys. Tackle. Get him down. Oh, he fought for it.
can the Giants contend for a Super Bowl this year? That that would fall under uh, deep dive spoiler, I would say. So I'm going to have to opt out on that question. Come on, offense. Seal it. Yeah, good job, offense. And we should get the breakout. He got a, a tackle for a loss and a sack. Hopefully you don't need, like... Two total. If he doesn't get it, it's not the end of the world because he's probably going to get it anyway at the end of the year. But let's see. Wow, we had a bunch of upgrades too. Yeah, let's go. Well earned too. He has been a monster for a great defense. Elton Jenkins... Can Michael Gallup become a number one receiver? Yep, he's got he's got that profile. I like Gallup. He's an interesting player as far as like what does his future hold. Four man coverage for Sertain. Sertain just had um, superstar revealed. By the way, we'll have to take a look at his traits. I am gonna go. I'm gonna try to work on Gary's finesse moves now that he's. Superstar. Josh Myers. A respectable 68 overall. He's not terrible. Can JJ Ortega Whiteside be a number three receiver? No. I'm going to go with a no on that one. He, he is. I don't know if I have. That's pitiful. I He's pitiful. Let's look at our abilities now with Jerry Judy gets it unlocked as well. Short in elite sounds good to me, I would say. Uh, no, he should have route technician. The last cut of any route. Patrick Sertain. He's got mid zone KO. I think I want. He doesn't end up playing a lot of mid zones, so I feel like either acrobat or tip drill. Start with tip drill. What's a good resource for learning cap and contracts? That's a great question. Um, I can't think of a single resource for that. Reach Elite, Ripper. I think Ripper's a good starting point. I don't know if Rip counts as a power move or a finesse move, but it's a good starting point. I don't think we have anyone else worth um, extending here, honestly. I think we'll let the rest of these guys hit. So eight and one, chat. What a stunning season. We have um, one more game of defense that we are going to play against the Bears next week, and then two games of play the moment. So we got to fix this because Cobb is not a starter for us. I think I'll scout middle linebackers. That's kind of the one position of weakness on our team. So the question is, do we have the number one defense in the league? 
We are sixth in yards. First in points allowed. So definitely up there. We have the most sacks by far. Nasty defense. Is cap space real? Cap space is real, as is evidenced by what's happening to the Steelers and the Falcons. But at the same time, cap space can never really stop you from making one or two moves in a given season if you want to. Case in point, the Bucks and the Chiefs. All right, so the Colts are 1-8. We might have to interfere... And, like, give the Eagles their second-round pick or something. I don't know. Twins just blew it, allowing a two-RBI single. That sounds just like them. Is the game already over? We are going to sim this week against the Colts. I feel like we're going to lose this one. Sounds like Madden. 14-7. to This effing defense, bro. Amos goes down for four weeks. So Brady Breeze is going to get an opportunity to step in. So we're going to play all defense this week. Even though we just played defense week 10, but that's okay. Yeah, the offense has been a little disappointing, which is to be expected. We have a basically a rookie quarterback. We traded away our two other best players. We traded away three best players on the on the offense. It hasn't been like a terrible offense. We're still We're actually fourth in yards. We're middling in points per game. Man, we just haven't been able to finish drives because we have a bunch of yardage, but points per game were towards the bottom. Does Ian Book have a chance to start? I'm, that's a no from me, dog, but who knows with Sean Payton. I also thought Jameis was going to start over Hill last year, even though I do think he does this year. Love just going about his business. Keeps getting better. They don't want to reveal his dev trade. He's got the glitch. I seemed excited when they picked Book. Well, that was poor delivery by me. I mean, I was... If I was excited, it's because I was I was stunned. I was surprised. Not because I thought it was a good pick. Denard, Alford, or Marco Wilson, your one. Robert Alford will start on the outside, I would think, as long as he's healthy. Let's take a look at these stats. I like Marco Wilson, but he probably isn't going to play much in year one, I wouldn't think. We got to get Gary up to double-digit sacks. I'm not too worried about it. Brady Breeze does have two picks, so big opportunity for him to step in. Um... Love has not been bad. Passing yardage is low. The rushing yard's really good. Yeah, you know, offense just hasn't been necessarily explosive, but defense carrying the load. And we're going to see if we can carry the load again this week against Justin Fields. Big division game. Sunday night prime time. This will be fun. in Lambeau Field without Adrian Amos, mind you. 